Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is a special edition of the David Robertson Show, and I'm your host, David Robertson. We're on fair. We're on location in the fair city of Madison Heights. Today's date is January 10th, approximately a little after 2 p.m., and we're located just a little west of 11 Mile Road and John R. We're actually on 11 Mile Road here that sits right next to the service station. We're gonna have our technician, our cameraman, to pan the camera so you viewers can get a general idea of the actual physical location. If any of you viewers are familiar with this location, you know, here on the corner of uh, Palmer Avenue and 11 Mile, a little west of John R. The mobile station. And believe it or not, viewers, there's some significance of this particular station, but that's in another story. If any of you viewers remember Al Doom, the young man who jumped out of the bleachers at the opening day stadium, I think a couple of years ago, for the Detroit Tigers, we're at his dad's service station. But this story isn't about Al Doom. This story is about viewers. I want you to take a good look at this. What you see viewers here is a bird of prey. To be exact, a red tail hawk. I want you viewers to see this. I repeat, a downed red tail hawk. And next to him, just a few centimeters away, looks to be another bird. Now, clearly, viewers, something's up. I want you viewers to take a look at this. I don't know what to say. This other bird looks like a sparrow of what have you. We're going to have the cameraman zoom in on this a little bit so you viewers can see this. This is live footage of two dead birds. Now, you say, what is significant about that? We see birds down all the time, even touring treads. Yeah, because you're in the mindset that the corpse of that bird is a result of this bird, the red-tailed falcon. See, a number of years ago, to keep down the pigeon population, municipalities has agreed to allow birds of prey in the city. And the red-tailed hawk is known. Well, what gets you? What brung down the red-tailed hawk? Now, upon further, further examination, I don't see any markings as if there was another bird of prey. There's some kind of environmental alert that needs to go out, folks. This is a tragedy. This is a downed red-tailed hawk. You can clearly see it comes with the appearance of as it's been poisoned. And right next to it, ladies and gentlemen, what looks to be similar to a sparrow, we're going to have the cameraman pan. And for all you individuals who's a little weak in stomach, I admonish you to turn away. Now, we're going a little closer. These birds are clearly deceased, but the cause of termination is the question. Now here you see, folks, a red-tailed hawk down right by the mobile gas station here at 434 John I. Road. I stand correct, 434 West 11 Mile just west of John R. Road. For any of you individuals who are familiar with that area, you've got the infamous Salinas Bar and Grill, which is a distance off. But for all you viewers, you recognize it. And coming back to Pan, 
you have the MCM staffing quarters. Well, we're directly across the street at the mobile station at the address of 434 West 11 Mile in the fair city of Madison Heights. And our topic is what the hell is going on that costs a normally healthy bird of prey who's been allowed in by the local and county municipalities, a red-tailed hawk, to be slain in such a way. Now, I'm not a taxidermist, but from observation, there are no external wounds. I admonish you viewers to contact your local DNR and have them to immediately dispatch special agents down here and see what's going on. I think this is an environmental issue. There's something array because the red-tailed hawk, let me give you a general idea. That's a tough bird. That's not your run-of-the-mill bird. And whatever environmental danger that lurks out here can bring that down I think it's uh, it's a moment of pause, folks. Once again, Dave Robertson from the Dave Robertson Show. Something's a rare, folks. For anyone who gets this footage, as you actually see, I don't recommend you to look at this if you're the weak of stomach. But we have received a preponderous amount of email to come to this location by our loyal viewers to see this travesty. A red-tailed hawk, in addition to some kind of sparrow. Now, this sparrow is more or less domesticated, but this red-tailed hawk, and he's got some weight. We need to dispatch and make full contact to the Department of Natural Resources there's something arrayed down here in the fair city of Madison Heights. Upon further investigation and, 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 and observation of the corpse, there's no external wounds. Once again, there's no external wounds. Now it's on his belly. For all you viewers who see this, I admonish you to collectively contact your nearest Department of Natural Resources and demand an explanation, a full investigation. If there's any lurking nearby environmental hazard and or danger. Oh my God. I admonish you viewers to subscribe to my channel the David Robertson channel, but more importantly, for any at all who sees this, to immediately contact your nearest state Department of Natural Resources and demand that they send down an investigative team, some kind of biohazard has been released upon the city. Once again, you're looking at exclusive footage of a rare bird accompanied by a domestic bird that clearly has no external wounds. Something is awry here, folks. Here in the fair city of Madison Heights, located at the address of 434 John R. The Mobile Gas Station here at the west corner just west of John Iron 11 Mile something is definitely wrong folks when an adult red-tailed falcon I stand correct red-tailed hawk is displayed in such a cowardly manner something is array folks David Robertson signing off from the fair city of Madison Heights.
There is cause for alarm, folks. There is cause for alarm, folks. Something is a ray. Signing off.